from Wade County and this is Half Court. Half Court, follow big three, every city, we be litty, do you feel me? Uh, half Court, we be bobbing like we did, league full of bad boys, call it big three. Big three, yeah, the game go up to 50. Game is half court, like the show you see appearing. Huh. Baby, holla if you hear me. Half court on your big screen, repping big three. Big three, we be repping big three. Big fish in a big sea. Woo. Big three, we be repping big three. Baby, holla if you hear me. with your girl Miko Grimes and I am live at American Airlines Arena here in sunny South Florida for week eight of the big three season. Now, half the league is on ice, but it is still hot in here. The feature game this week is four and two trilogy versus three and three ghost ballers. I spoke with Solomon Jones and David Hawkins before the game and here's what they both had to say. Speaking of old, I, I knew you in your Atlanta Hawks days way back in the day. So it's good to see you back on the floor. How does it feel playing? I mean, it's good. it feels good. Being around my peers, you know, my brotherhood, you know what I mean? So all is good, man. You know, when they get a chance to play basketball, and, you know, a living man is as well. Big three is a really short season. You guys started off 0 and 2. You have a four game winning streak. What do you um, give credit to for that run? Uh, more time together, uh, people <laughs> taking it more serious, locking in. Uh, <laughs> You're being truthful with yourself, which you, what you have to do as a person, as a person, as a player, looking in the mirror, how can we help our team get better? And then as a team, we just gel and have time to get on. Because um, even though a few of us played in the league already, we're on the same team, so we feel with the team. And we put a few plays in, and uh, we just, you know, one win we took the pressure off, and you know, from then on, it just, we just, um, just Gelling with the team is important. You don't have time to gel, so how are you adjusting to the big decision? Uh, my first game, last game, I think that was the adjustment. I got it, got thrown in. I, you know, the game went so fast, I, I play pick up every day, but shit is different, man. It's different. It's different. The game goes so quick, so I think I adjusted. I gel last game. A uh, few of you guys I can play with, you know what I mean? So, uh, the chemistry, yeah, the chemistry is just going to be there. Now this week you guys face those ballers, a team that's in the hunt. You guys are already in the playoffs. Congratulations on that. I'm glad you said that. You spoke into existence. But we still aren't locked for the oh. playoffs. We're currently in because of our record. Okay. But some teams have one game left. We have two. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we need to win tomorrow to solidify it. But I'm not even looking at it for that reason. It's just the next game that we play, we have to beat them. But we don't want Even if we was already in the playoffs, we still want to win. We know, so we just want to approach the game like, like the last game we played, you know, the next team up, next team we got to beat. Are you watching the games before you join the team? Yeah, yeah, I was watching all of them. Not every week, but. Much, yeah. Did you understand what the problem was with your team? Because they're a little bit bipolar. They started off two wins in a row. Just keep it around. Okay. Two wins in a row and they lost three. And then last week you guys beat a good team in Tri-State. What do you think from a perspective of watching the game was the problem? Why you don't think there's any consistency with the team? Um, like the bigs. They didn't have any bigs. You know, they had uh, the Mario move. And, uh, you know, he was they basically they big, you know, that's big switching, you know, he, he had the bar, like, big guys, like, Greg Golden mm -hmm. and things like that, so it was tough on him. I mean, picked up uh, Chris Johnson and myself, so it was an easy, I think the game opened up for them, you know, they can run their pick and rolls and dump it off to a big lob and stuff like that, so I think that, I think that was their problem, but, um, mm -hmm. for the most part, um, that was just in the game. So now you guys are in the month. Three and three, not out of you can make the playoffs, but you do face a tough team in trilogy there on a four game win streak. I'm sure you know them, they yeah. talk a lot of shit. Yeah. Okay, the game. What do you guys plan to do to kind of stop them from this win streak? Just uh, play our best basketball, man. You know what I mean? And just go out and do what we do. That's it. I mean, they. It's not, it take a, it's not a rocket science. You can take a rocket science and figure it out. You got to make shots and play some defense and control the game, basically. Well, good luck. I hope you guys make it. Appreciate your time. Yes, ma'am. Appreciate you.
A must win for both squads with a week remaining to the playoffs. The Red Hot Trilogy take on the scrappy golf ballers in this week's half court highlighted matchup. It's tight early as golf ballers energizer bunny Mike Taylor steals the ball from Hawkins and converts. Golf ballers up 20 to 18 as Scales hits a baseline three assist by Ricky Davis. Scales has seven threes on the season. On the out-of-bounds play, Davis off the screen for a two-dribble pull-up to take us to the half. Those ballers on a 5-0 run of 25-18. Late in the second, Trilogy ties the game at 45 and Scales takes Woods off the dribble and one. He had 13 on the night, just one shot of the leader, Chris Johnson. James White in the post for two even things again at 47. He would end the game with 14 and nine. Both teams at game point, Mike Taylor shoots a thirsty air ball off the opposite backboard, rebounded by Scales, pass to Taylor, pass to a wide open Solomon Jones, and there you have it. Trilogy's four game win streak is over. Ghost is here! Ghost is here! Ghost baller. Um, how does it feel to take down the hottest team in the big three? That was the hottest team? Yeah. Stop it. Somebody done told you wrong. Next question. <laughs> how much do you get for the half court shot you uh, you hit at uh, practice yesterday? Like 1,000. Light. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Solomon Jones, I spoke with you yesterday and um, you talked about you guys needed some big players, some inside presence, and then today you come out and hit the game-winning three. Can you talk about that moment for us, please? It's kind of, uh, felt good. It was a good moment. Um, just the opportunity came, man. These guys here, I mean, they trust I'm, I'm big, can stretch the floor a little bit, and that's what Mike called me and told me, you know, he was gonna pick me up for a bit that can stretch the floor. So the opportunity came, I just um, took advantage of the opportunity and trusted the shot. My teammates trusted me to take it and thank God it went in. We just ready, we don't scrap. We do, I call I call guys like myself crumb snatchers. We gonna get everything that's uh, close to the floor and that's how we pulled out this win tonight. Ghost. Ghost. As you can see, anyone can take an L in the Big Three, including the hottest team in the league. That's a wrap for Week 8 of the Big Three. I'm Miko Grimes. Thanks for watching Half Court. Half Court, follow Big Three. Every city, we be litty. Do you feel me? Uh, half Court, we be bobbing like we did. League full of bad boys, call it Big Three. Big Three, yeah, the game go up to 50. Game is half court, like the show you see appearing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Baby, holla if you hear me. Half court on your big screen, repping Big Three. Big Three, we be repping Big Three. Big fish in a big sea. Woo. Big Three, we be repping Big Three. Baby, holla if you hear me.